Ubuntu. Just hearing this name makes advanced Linux users disgusted with the fact that why the hell it is still alive and especially after its own self-destruction with snaps. But we remember that Ubuntu was the best Linux distribution till 2018 or 2019. And after reading the title and the thumbnail, and you might be wondered and be surprised by the fact that Ubuntu is still the face of Linux and it is still the most widely used Linux distribution in all the sectors. Whether we talk about enterprises or just home users, content creators to filmmakers, developers to coders, well, all of them are same. But still, yeah, Ubuntu is still the most used Linux distribution. Might not be the best, but the most reliable for most of the sectors today. Yes, even today. And it is still the face of Linux. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. Talk about it. You see, back in 2020, if you said something like, I used Linux, then they'd probably guess that you use Ubuntu. Because that was the proper fact that most of the Linux users were actually Ubuntu users. Yep, that is indeed a surprise, but it is the fact. And it is still popular and works well for both beginners and experts. It looks clean, modern, and even fancier than simple Linux distributions and feels good to use, especially with GNOME 48. And everything just works. Like, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, printer, screen, everything just works pretty easily. And through snaps, a lot of applications which were previously not available for Linux are being ported to snaps for Ubuntu. And Ubuntu has literally the largest stable software library right now. And developers don't want to waste their time fixing pro basic problems which you get on Fedora and Arch. They just want to build and create their own application packages and softwares. And that is why they just go on with Ubuntu. Because Ubuntu supports all major programming languages, it is easy to use as a packaging system with APT, and it also works with Windows subsystem of Linux or WSL. And it is literally ready for DevOps and cloud tools with Docker, Kubernetes, Git, like everything. And the best part, it has snaps and flat packs. Now you might question me instead, like why am I saying that Ubuntu having snaps is a best part? because it makes setting up development environments way too faster and cleaner and snaps work well. Yes, in the history, in past, Ubuntu did messed up and ended up self-destructing its reputation. But now, after such a long time, snaps are actually competitive with flat packs. But instead, Ubuntu went with a different approach. Ubuntu didn't replace snaps with flat packs. Instead, it gives you option to choose and that's where it literally becomes trustworthy and that is where Ubuntu really shines. Companies love the things that are stable, secure and easy to manage and that is why most of the businesses who rely on Linux systems use Ubuntu. It has long term support, it has better security than most of the others. Now you might question like canonical and security, well it is and it is cloud friendly. Like most of the cloud servers like AWS, Google Cloud or Azure, they can run easily on Ubuntu. And it has professional tools and supports as well. Thanks to Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu gives full support and offer to managing large systems. That makes the enterprises trustworthy. And the best part, Ubuntu works well with OpenStax, Kubernetes and other tools which are like automated tools that manage thousands of systems all at once. In short, Ubuntu makes IT teams happy because it is reliable and easy to control. Now, that was the part of enterprises, but what about normal people like you and me? Well, if you're just starting to use Linux, then Ubuntu might be the best and first choice for 90% of the people. It has a huge community support, so even if you run into some problem, you're gonna get its solution through forums, reddit or youtube tutorials. And it comes with a lot of pre-installed applications and most of the popular applications are literally available on Ubuntu first with the most stable and latest version and especially onto their snap store or app store. Whether we talk about Spotify, Discord, Zoom, VS Code or even Steam and Literally, like my first laptop had Ubuntu pre-installed. That is indeed a fact. And most of the popular applications like the ones I told you about, they are literally reliable and all of those companies who create those applications prefer Ubuntu over other distributions because Ubuntu is literally the face of Linux and it has a familiar feel thanks to its customized version of GNOME 48 
And let me just tell you a fact, Ubuntu does not make you feel like you need to learn something about Linux. It just lets you use your computer the way you want it. And Canonical is actually keeping Ubuntu very strong. Like, you might think otherwise, but still. The reality is, they offer paid support and services for Ubuntu users. They still care about the community. The free version of Ubuntu is literally solid and full of features. And they test new features very carefully and all the features you're gonna see in Ubuntu are gonna be really, really stable. And now comes the big part. Ubuntu helps the whole Linux world. Ubuntu is not just famous. It helps the entire Linux scene. It is an easy start for beginners, so most of the new users are gonna see Ubuntu as their first distro and Ubuntu looks good, better than Windows. And that is why how most of the people were transformed from Windows users to Linux users. And a lot of popular Linux distributions are built and based on Ubuntu. Talk about Zorin OS, Linux Mint, Pop OS, they are still based on Ubuntu. And Snaps is an experiment to fix the big Linux issue. Now, if I had a Q&A, not, not a Q&A, like a test, and I give you a question like, what is the biggest problem in Linux? Well, it'll just be that lack of software availability. Most of the popular applications are not available on Linux, that is true. But Snaps is making it possible. Yes, it is. And Ubuntu helps develop many Linux tools. Like Canonical gives a lot of support through financial and otherwise to GNOME. So if you think like GNOME is the best desktop environment but you don't like Ubuntu, think about it because GNOME is the best desktop environment thanks to Ubuntu. Well, actually Canonical. And we talk about Wayland that is also supported by Canonical and other projects too. And now let me just tell you the power of the name Ubuntu. People know Ubuntu, even those who don't use Linux or ever heard about Linux, they might know about Ubuntu. It has a clean name and a logo which is just beautiful. It is easy to see and remember and when people say try Linux, they usually mean try Ubuntu. Like Ubuntu is the Google of Linux distributions. Not the flashiest, not the fastest, not the most reliable, not the most stable, not the most powerful, not the most customizable but still the most known and trusted Linux distro. Ubuntu might not be perfect, it is not the lightest, most customizable, but it is simple, stable, supported, powerful, and trustworthy Linux distro. And Ubuntu makes Linux feel possible for everyone, from a first-time user to a professional developer or an IT team in a big company. In the end, Ubuntu is still the face of Linux, and honestly, I believe it deserves to be. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I went way too all out in this video because I wanted to create this video for a long time, but I was just, you know, messed up in a lot of places. Like there was college hunting, which I had to move places, had to travel some time, and then my board examinations. But thankfully, all of that is over. And here I am creating videos every day consistently. So don't forget to subscribe for more awesome tech videos. I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm Moon signing out. And yeah, let me just tell you one thing. By the way, I'm an Arch user. <laughs> Literally, it never gets sold.